brief introduction to the story. In this chapter, the writer gives a detailed account of Richard Ebright as a young scientist. He says that Ebright had the curiosity of a scientist even when he was a little child. He used to collect butterflies, rocks, fossils and coins when he was yet in kindergarten. He was an eager stargazer also. But his chief interest began with butterflies. He was the only child of his parents. His father died when Richard was only in the third grade. But Richard got all support and encouragement from his mother. During his school as well as college days, he did many interesting experiments for which he was awarded prizes. Most of his experiments were on butterflies. He made a number of new discoveries. At the age of 22, he excited the world with a new theory on how cells work. Ebright and his college roommate, James Wong, explained their theory in an article that was published in an important scientific journal named Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. It was the first time when such an important journal had ever published the work of college students. It was a big honor for a bright and his scientist friend. 